Hello and welcome to Spencer's Library. I'm Claudia and today I am reviewing Where the Rhythm Takes You by Sarah Das. This is a very recently published young adult contemporary romance retelling of Jane Austen's Persuasion. This has only just come out in May of 2021. It is inspired by Persuasion and it sets the story on the island of Tobago during a single summer holiday. It follows 17-year-old Raina who runs the family-run holiday resort after her mother passed away. Her father is not that interested in running the hotel, so she kind of keeps everything running. When suddenly, completely unannounced, her ex-boyfriend arrives in the resort for a holiday. His name's Aiden, and Raina hasn't seen him for a couple of years since he left Tobago to become a big time music star in the US. And he's now returning with a Grammy Award, his bandmates and also the two Musgrove sisters, one of whom is a model and one of whom is an influencer. As you can imagine, this is the perfect summertime read, especially for those of us who aren't going anywhere near a holiday resort this year. <laughs> Just like I've actually never been to a holiday resort, so I'm just kind of imagining it like a hotel, but like with a pool. If you're familiar with Persuasion, then the plot of two ex-lovers reconnecting will be familiar to you. However, this definitely takes it more into the romance category. So unlike in Jane Austen's original, there aren't really any villains, there aren't really any sort of high financial stakes, and there isn't really that sort of biting characterization of, well, loads of different people. Everyone is kind of treated quite kindly by the author, including characters who in Jane Austen's Persuasion are portrayed in negative light. For example, the Musgrove sisters. In Persuasion, they are these kind of vapid, shallow young women who are a counter-example to the main character of Anne Elliot. In Where the Rhythm Takes You, the author plays with those expectations by making the Musgrove sisters a model and a social media influencer, but then she really does treat them with kindness. She gives them character, she gives them personality, and she gives them motivations that we can all understand and that we can and that we can identify with without reducing them to comic relief or to the bad example that makes the main character look better. Similar treatment is given to the main character's father. In Persuasion we know that Anne Elliot's father is very shallow and superficial and dislikes his daughter. In Where the Rhythm Takes You, the father is a distracted ex-journalist who would really rather be writing than running a hotel. But again, he's treated with kindness and presented as a loving family member rather than a terrible man. Overall, Where the Rhythm Takes You is much less melancholic than Persuasion and it has a more light-hearted Minerva. Are you, are you quite all right? Yeah? You think you could delay your zoomies until I'm done filming? Hmm? Just a little bit. There's a good kitty. What was I saying? So the feel of this is a lot less melancholic, a lot more light-hearted, a lot more romantic than Persuasion, and I quite enjoyed that. I also really like the focus on music in Jane Austen's Persuasion. Our Captain Wentworth is of course a naval officer, and that's his transformation from a poor sailor to a wealthy and successful captain. Whereas here we have this focus on music. So in the flashbacks where we experience the beginnings of Aidan's and Raina's relationship, he is a poor but talented teenager who really wants to become a musician. And then when he returns, he is a successful pop star, someone who is famous and wealthy and has succeeded at what he wanted to do as a teenager. Oh 
So music becomes a beautifully symbolic way of, um, you know, exploring this relationship and, and one that I really enjoyed. I really appreciated that the author actually included a soca music playlist with some titles and um, a little bit of history there, which I, as a musicologist, obviously appreciated. And I listened to some of the songs and can recommend. One thing I didn't like as much about this book is that I thought some of the characters could have been given a little bit more to do. And I don't know if this is an editing issue, if the book initially was longer, where these characters had a little bit more of a role to play, and then it was cut, but the characters remained. But I felt that in particular, the best friend Olivia and the sister of the main character, Pam, felt a little bit superfluous. They weren't really given a big plot. They weren't really given a big role in the plot. And I thought that was a shame because I would have liked to have seen more of both of them. Overall though, really fun retelling, very much a definition of a holiday read. So if you too are stuck at home during this pandemic summer, you might want to pick up this lovely young adult romance. And uh, it is also very readable for those of you who have not read Persuasion. I don't think there is any need to be familiar with the Jane Austen story in order to enjoy the, this retelling. It works perfectly well by itself. If you have read Where the Rhythm Takes You, Where the Rhythm Takes You, let me know what you thought of it. And if it's on your summer TBR, let me know as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.